Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at compound shapes and we're working at the area and perimeter of these shapes. Before we begin, it's really worth watching my videos on area and perimeter and area and circumference of circles because that's going to help in today's video. So, what is the area and perimeter of this shape? We're going to start by working at the perimeter. And to do that, we need to understand what, uh, we need to add all the lengths together. There are some missing lengths. So this length down here and this length up here. What do you think these lengths are? The first length down here, to do that we're going to look at the 10 centimeters across the top, the 8 centimeters across here, and we know that going across the top and going across the bottom must be the same length. So to make it all the way 10 centimeters across the bottom, you need 8 and you need an extra 2 across here. And so this length here must be 2 centimeters to make the top and the bottom equal. Now what's this missing length over here? What do you think? Well, to go from the top, 4 centimeters down, then 5 centimeters down, it's going to be the same on this side. 4 centimeters and 5 centimeters make 9 centimeters. And so if you want to find the missing sides of a shape like this, you look at the opposite sides and what they add up to. Now we know what the missing sides are. And to find the perimeter, we're going to add up all of the sides. Like this. 4 plus 8 plus 10 plus 5 plus 9 plus 2 is 38 centimetres. We know the perimeter, now let's work out the area. We're going to split this into two rectangles and work out the area of each rectangle separately. This blue rectangle is 4 by 10, multiply and we get 40 centimetres squared. The green one is 5 by 2, multiply and we get 10 centimetres squared. We know the two separate areas now, we can add them together to find the total area. 40 plus 10 is 50 centimetres squared. And so the area of this shape is 50 centimetres squared, the perimeter is 36, we have finished. Now let's look at a different type of shape. This is a semicircle and a triangle uh, attached together to make a compound shape. And the lengths are 6 centimetres, 10 centimetres and 8 centimetres. We're going to start by working at the perimeter. And to do that we need to know the length of this curved edge here. And what you need to realise is this is half the circumference of a circle. Because it's a semicircle, that's half a circle. The curved edge is half the edge of a, a semicircle. And the radius of this circle is 3 centimetres. So the circumference is going to be given by 2 times pi times r, 2 times pi times 3, which on your calculator will be 18.84955 centimetres. But we're going to half it because it's half a circle, half the circumference, and we get 9.42 centimetres. So the red edge here, the red curved edge, is 9.42 centimetres. But we add the other sides, 10 centimetres here, and 8 centimetres. We add the lengths on the outside. We ignore the 6 centimetres here because that's not on the outside of shape, that's not part of the perimeter. Now we need to work out the area and we've got a semicircle and we've got a triangle. To work out the area of the semicircle we're going to do the area of a circle and then half it. The area of a circle is pi r squared which is pi times 3 squared which is 28.2743, but we half it, and we get this. That's the area of that semicircle. Now the area of triangle is given by base times height divided by 2, which is 6 times 8 divided by 2. 8 times 6 is 48 divided by 2 is 24 centimetres squared. To find the total area of the shape, we add them together. 24 plus 14.13 etc is 38.1 centimetres squared. Remember the units for perimeter are centimetres, the units for area are centimetres squared. Okay. 
that's all the examples from today's video. You've got some practice questions to try here. The blue shape is two rectangles uh, touching each other. You need to figure out the three missing sides before you start working on the perimeter. Then work out the area. This shape over here is a square and a triangle stuck together. Try to figure out the uh, missing side over here. And then we've got a square here with two semicircles stuck to it to make a kind of love heart shape. Try to work out the perimeter of the area by pausing the video now and working out on pen and paper. You will need a calculator for the circle question because it involves pi. When you're ready, I'll reveal the answers. So press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Have a good day and good luck in your exams.